This is Annie Brunson, and I'm going to talk to you today if you have been in forbearance due to the CARES Act. There are some things that you really, really need to know. Um, the first thing is if you are in forbearance and you can easily pick up your mortgage payment once the forbearance is up, then that's fantastic. You do need to make sure that you make arrangements with your mortgage company on how you're going to pay back all of the mortgage payments that you have missed. Uh, some um, government loans will allow you to put the uh, payments at the end of the loan. Uh, some will let you add a little extra to your mortgage payment. Some will offer the option of doing a rate reduction or a uh, refinance to um, incorporate all of those past payments. Uh, so it's a government back loan, they have to work with you. However, this is assuming that you can take up your mortgage payments once the forbearance is over. So this video really is for the people who are unable to take up their mortgage payments once the forbearance is over. So most people think that the forbearance deadline will not be extended um, for another time. Uh, of course, it's been extended in December and then March, um, and now it is scheduled to be up the end of June. And most industry leaders think that this is going to be it because most people are getting COVID shots. Uh, the economy seems to be turning around. So there's not as much push to, um, to keep the whole forbearance program in place. So, however, if you have um, had some hard times, you've lost your job or you've been, been on unemployment or you're not making as much as you were before the COVID pandemic hit and you don't think you're going to be able to make your mortgage payment, then it's really, really important that you act now and not wait until that forbearance period is up. So you may be saying, well, why should I do that? You know, I'm, I'm getting free rent right now. I'm getting free mortgage payments. I should stay as long as I can. Well, we're not that far away right now. So we're only two or three months away from the end of the moratorium. And if you wait, you lose all opportunities to get equity in your pocket, to save your credit, to actually find alternate housing now before the run on uh, rentals uh, that will come about once there are more evictions and more um, foreclosures uh, in the um, third quarter of this year. So why should you sell now? Well, there has never, and I'm, I'm not exaggerating, there's never been as good a seller market as there is right now. I've been in the business since the late 80s and I have never, ever, 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 ever seen a seller's market like this. So what this means for you is that if you move now, if you act now and actually get your house on the market, chances are that I will be able to uh, find a buyer for you in the first week. So at a great price to give you equity in your pocket, which will allow you to um, have a little cash to put down on a rental. Uh, you know, you, you have to pay first and last and, and security deposit. It will give you some equity, uh, just depending on what you owe. It obviously will depend on how much and, and how many um, missed payments are going to have to be caught back up on your payoff. But chances are the market has improved so much that you should be able to um, uh, get some equity and save your credit. So, but if you wait until the end of June, then you're gonna have attorney fees, filing fees, foreclosure filings, and uh, foreclosure, uh, what we're reading is that mortgage companies are gonna move very, very fast on those borrowers who cannot pick up their payments. So you may not have very long at all after the uh, moratorium is up before you, you find yourself in a position where the uh, foreclosure notice is issued. So move now before your credit gets ruined. And while there are still a lot of buyers out there wanting to buy and save your credit and um, get a little cash in your pocket. Uh, 
I am very experienced in, in guiding sellers through this very unusual market where um, it's not just a question of, of choosing the highest offer, it's all of the terms the, that make up the, the whole of the, the offer. I've had some sellers you know, accept the second highest offer or even the third highest because of the kind of loan or whether it was cash or, or, or the things that they were asking for. So, um, but the thing is, what we're seeing is that you will get multiple offers on uh, the property if it's listed at the right price. So I would love to talk with you about your situation and um, no obligation, but just talk to you about what your options are and how you can save as much equity in your pocket as you can. My telephone number is 256-525-0213 and it, it will be um, on this uh, video too. So um, I look forward to talking with you.